Welcome to this tutorial on flashing custom resource files on the Mi Band 3. While I consider this a safe modification, I do not take responsibility for bricked bands. If you're not comfortable following this guide, then please take more time to teach yourself the fundamentals of firmware flashing on devices. This is a very simple procedure, similar to flashing custom firmware onto phones. In a worst case scenario, you might get a disconnection while the firmware is uploading and your Mi Band will ask for the new firmware. More on that later, as I was able to reproduce this issue during flashing, so you can see the steps to resolve it. Go to geekdoing.com, where you will have to make an account to download and make full use of the site. I recommend this as you can give feedback on the firmwares and get help with troubleshooting. As you can see here, the site is in a forum layout with individual sections for the Mi Band 3. Scroll down to the resources section where you can find both stock and custom res files for the band. Scroll through the custom res files available to get an idea of them. They will be labelled as version 44, 46, etc. What you need to do is make sure the res version that you download matches the firmware on your band. Each thread will list the compatible firmware versions and version of res file used. It is your responsibility to make sure they are compatible. This is the res file I will be using for my band, as I have already flashed it and would like to keep using it. The process is the same for all the custom res files. To download from the site, you will need an account. Head to the registration page and fill in the details. I used a temporary account for this example, but to keep up on the forum I recommend you to use a permanent email. Now you'll have an account, but you need to quickly verify it. Once that's done, you'll have full access to the site. Now you need to make sure your Mi Band is on the latest firmware. The Mi Band firmware is split into three parts. The firmware itself for device functions, the res file for the items displayed on the screen, and the font file for the font displayed on the screen. In this video, we will only be changing the res file, so ideally you should be on the latest firmware version. You can either use the latest official Mi Fit app to connect to your Mi Band and automatically update, or you can use Gadget Bridge from F-Droid or the Play Store, or Notify and Fitness from the Play Store to manually flash the latest firmware. In this video, I actually managed to accidentally flash a firmware as I didn't realize my band auto-connected to the freshly installed app, but it's good for us to see exactly how this firmware flashing happens. Download the custom res you want to use. I'm using Digital Material Theme version 3.1 for this tutorial. Download the app you want to use for firmware flashing. You can't use the official app for custom resources and firmwares, so I recommend either Notify and Fitness or Gadget Bridge. Notify is the app I use for my band anyway, so I tried to use it here, and as you'll see, it updated the firmware with no issues, but it failed on the res file for me. So I switched to Gadget Bridge to solve the res issue. Connect the Mi Band to your chosen app, Notify acts mostly like the official app when connecting and pairs with the Mi Band. You can follow the directions given in the app. Tap the Mi Band to pair and you should be ready. Navigate over to Tools and open the updater. If you are updating the official firmware, use the latest firmware button and download it.
Select the firmware first, rather than the res, as we are going to use a custom res file anyway. You may want to or need to update the fonts afterwards, but if the band boots and displays fine, then don't bother for now. I accidentally connected the band and pressed update as an example, expecting it to cancel. Since it worked anyway, I've left it in to show you. Now that the flash finished, wait for it to boot. It takes some time, but don't stress. If it reached 100%, then it is just rebooting. Open Notify and Fitness again, and pair the band if needed. You should make sure to remove Notify and Fitness from any app killing software on your device because you do not want it to be killed while flashing the Mi Band. Trust me, this sucks. This varies from device to device. If you use an AOSP type ROM, then remove Notify and Fitness from the battery optimization list for now. Now your Mi Band is on the latest firmware and you have your custom res file, you are ready to flash. In this example, I tried to use Notify and Fitness to flash the res file, as this worked for me previously. However, I switched to Gadget Bridge after some unsuccessful attempts. Open Notify and Fitness and navigate to the firmware update section. There are options to update the firmware to the official latest version and to use a custom file. For this we need to select Custom File. Now in the file explorer, we need to get the res file. It will be wherever you placed or downloaded it. After selecting the file, the flashing process can begin. Tap the flash button. If this works for you on Notifying Fitness, then you're done. Mine got stuck at 5%, so I tried again. I think the band disconnected. I tried selecting the file again and letting it check. It got a lot further this time, but again it disconnected. I'm not really sure why, it could be my phone. So I switched over to Gadget Bridge. Give it all the permissions that it requests and head to Pair Band. It takes some time to find it, just be patient and hit Pair when it finishes. Don't forget to tap on the band to pair it.
Now leave the app and head to your file explorer. Find the res file and tap it. Gadget Bridge will show up as a usable app. Read the info and warnings if you like to make sure it's all correct. Make sure that it says res at the top. The flashing process will begin and the res will be sent to the band, successfully this time. The band won't reboot for res files, so you'll instantly know when it's ready. This is the comparison between the original res file and the custom res I installed. The major differences are the icons and clock with step counter. The custom res makes the icons bolder and more visible on the screen, and is closer to material design. Thanks for watching, and I hope you successfully flash custom res files to your band now.